Hello, how are you? If this is your first time here, my name is Tanya. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've been to my channel before and you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Today, a somewhat highly requested video is the removal process of the gelish structure gel. It says specifically that it is soak off. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to soak off our gelish structure gel. Let's take a look.
So that's how my removal process of the Jealous Structure Gel went. It did not come off quite like it did in their example. I definitely had to work at it more and I definitely had to soak it longer than 15 to 20 minutes. But it, it soaked off and I was able to get it off. It wasn't stuck on my nail like a normal Structure Gel would be. I personally don't really enjoy soaking off product. I just prefer to file it off. I just don't want my hands, fingertips, nails, I just don't want them soaking in acetone for, well, 30, 35 minutes potentially. I'd rather just file the majority of it off and soak off anything that might be lingering and only have it sitting on my nail for five, maybe 10 minutes, or just file off most of it until there's a thin layer and then just go ahead with the same product over top if that's your plan. I will try it again with actual foil and not the little clampy things because I do think that the heat from the foil and the air tightness-ish of the foil is going to make a difference so I'll definitely give it another shot but I don't like using the foil like I said because of waste so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you learned something. If you did, thumbs up! Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you think you might know why it didn't soak off as easy for me as it might for other people. And if you like these kinds of videos, subscribe. Why not? I'll see you in my next video. Bye!